What is going on guys? This video is about how to add a DynamoDB table as a data source for AWS Glue and AWS Glue Studio. Not many people know this, but you can actually read and write from and to a DynamoDB table with AWS Glue Studio, even though it doesn't come up as an option as a data source as you can see here. I wanted to make this video because I personally struggled how to figure this out reading the official documentation, and I wanted to share this video so you won't struggle like I did. So we're gonna be achieving this by adding a new crawler in AWS Glue. So I'm gonna right click on the crawlers on my left hand side and open this in a new tab. And by using a crawler to add our DynamoDB table, it's gonna dynamically add the schema based on our data. So I'm gonna to go to add a new crawler. I'm gonna give the crawler a name. So I'm gonna say DynamoDB crawler. So I'm just going to add a brief description for my crawler. I'm going to call it DynamoDB crawler. I'm leaving security configuration as null as I don't care to enable at rest encryption for my logs in AWS CloudWatch. And now I can just go ahead and hit next. So for the crawler source type, I'm going to leave it as data stores. Now the second section doesn't apply because we're going to be crawling from DynamoDB rather than S3. So now in order to pull our DynamoDB table that we're interested in, we're going to go to choose a data store and you should see DynamoDB as an option coming up. Now we're going to put in the name of our table. So you, if you know the table by name, you can just type it or you can click on the folder button to navigate to that folder. I only have two DynamoDB tables, so I'm going to select the one that I want to add a crawler for and it's going to be the event table here. I'm going to hit choose. Now, if your table is extremely large, you don't want to crawl the entire table, you can enable data sampling. My table is really small, so I'm just going to leave this blank. Now, the scanning rate refers to the percentage of the DynamoDB table read capacity units to be used by the crawler. I'm just going to accept the defaults by leaving this blank, and that would be 0.5% of the provisioned tables. I'm just going to accept the default of 0.5% by leaving this blank, and I'm going to go hit next. And if you wanted to add another data store, you can do that, but I'm gonna hit no, just so I can continue with adding this crawler for this table specifically. Now for the next part here, we have to choose an IAM role, which will have permissions to scan our DynamoDB table. If you don't have a role, you can just simply create a new role and it's gonna make sure it has the AWS Glue service role and will add access to the table of interest here. I already have an existing role, so I'm going to say choose an existing role and I'm gonna select that role, which is this one here. Now, I just wanna go over the role, so if you wanna add this to an existing role, what you're gonna to need to do. So if I hit next, um, let's just navigate first to IAM Management Console to review those permissions. So for that role that I just added that you saw, um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it has the AWS Glue service role, as well as ability to access that individual table. So, so if we click on our inline policy that I created, you need to make sure that it has access to describe table as well as DynamoDB scan. So I've used the least permissions principle here. So I've only applied these to the specific table that I'm interested in. All right, so we can now head back to configuring our crawler over here. Now it's gonna to ask to create a schedule for this crawler. I'm just gonna let it run on demand because I just wanna add this once. And now you're gonna to have to choose a table. So you're gonna to want to add the table to a, a database in AWS Glue Catalog. So uh, for my sake, I'm just gonna add this new DynamoDB table to the default database here. And for this parameter, if you wanna add a prefix to the table name, you can add that in this box here under configuration options. So now we would just wanna instruct how AWS Glue should handle table updates in the data catalog. So I'm just gonna accept the defaults of update the table definition in the data catalog. If there's a change to the schema, as well as if it's deleted, I'm just gonna say mark the table as deprecated. I'm just gonna hit next. All right, now we can just review our parameters that we've set up here. And now we can hit finish. So you should now see our newly created crawler and the one I created was the DynamoDB crawler. So I'm just gonna select that toggle button and run it manually by hitting run crawler. And now you're gonna see the message coming up saying crawler DynamoDB is now running and you're gonna see the status is starting. This might take around 40 seconds to run and what we should see is that our table is now going to be added once this finishes running. All right, there you go. Our table has been successfully added. So if you're interested just to check out this table that was added by our crawler in our data catalog, we can click on tables and now you're going to see that new table has been added under that database that you specified there. 
And as you can see here, our table has been added to the default database and it's identified that it is a DynamoDB classification. And if we click on it, we can now see the associated schema types that have been crawled dynamically by our crawler. All right, so we've now just successfully configured our DynamoDB table and we can now be able to use it in AWS Glue Studio or AWS Glue. So, all right, so now let's go check out how to add this as a data source in AWS Glue. So I'm gonna go back to my Glue Studio console here. Now under source, you still don't see DynamoDB coming up, but you're gonna select RDS. I know DynamoDB is not an RDS, but it comes under this JDBC category here. And now under database, we're gonna select default. And now remember, this is going to be using the AWS Glue data catalog database that we just added it to. And now we should see our new table that we just added, which is DynamoDB. And if you wanted to write to this table under target now, you're going to have to select Glue data catalog. We're going to go to that database that you added it to, and now you should be able to select that table as well. So if you want to add this DynamoDB table to a vanilla AWS Glue job, we can just navigate to our Glue service here. Just going to open a new window. Click under jobs. I'm just going to edit an existing job just to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go to edit script. And now if you go to source, you should be able to see from your drop down that that new DynamoDB table under classification has been added. And now you can simply add that to your job and it's going to dynamically generate the code to access this table. So I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to add a DynamoDB table as a data source to work with AWS Glue and AWS Glue Studio. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video tutorial. See you next time.